guys and welcome back to another video. It is extremely, extremely hot today in Melbourne. I am sweating. So it is uh, about 31 degrees Celsius here and uh, I guess you guys are going to see the first time that this beast runs. So let's do it. I'm gonna put you guys in the passenger seat over here and we are gonna start this baby now. Not bad. Pretty cool. So guys, I'm gonna let this warm up for a couple of minutes and we're gonna go take it for a drive and see how it is. I'm really excited to show you guys. I'm actually just to drive it for the first time too, so stay tuned. So guys, let us know how I look as well. I, I think I look very handsome like this. Does it suit me? I reckon a, woman, a few women won't disagree that it suits me. I, I believe that they'd be, uh, they'd say it suits me very well stuck on my head like this. Uh, so this turbo specifically has a T51R mod, uh, which means that it makes a little bit more sound um, as it spools up. So I honestly think it sounds like a police siren. It's like, wow, wow. Uh, also, I just also wanted to note that um, I'm unable to push the car, um, considering that uh, it hasn't been tuned to the turbo yet. Oh guys, that sounds real good. Oh, listen to that. Hello. My goodness. As you can tell, I'm going zero RPM as well. But this is fun. I, I mean, it's nice. I, I haven't been driving the Super in a long time and it's really nice to get back in here. Um, so this is pretty much my first drive on it. Um, it's pretty nice. I'm gonna give it some a little bit, but not too much, just so you can hear the turbo spool up. Oh, that sounds gross. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to cruise this highway and I'll join you guys at Derek's. So guys, we're currently at the workshop down at Yem. Uh, we're waiting for the motor to cool down just because there was a funny noise that was um, happening only when it's cold, so Yem's gonna be checking it out. We're just waiting for it to cool down. Uh, but in the meantime, we're gonna go check out some of the cars here. My mate Chris is here as well with his DC2, so we can go for a spin in that as well, which will be heaps and heaps of fun. Um, so yeah. Right here we've got the, uh, this is a, an infamous 1J Hilux. Uh, this thing hauls ass. Um, it's in for a custom plate. Um, it's really, really, really cool. I'm gonna pop the bonnet for you guys as well and show you what's under the hood. Hey Derek, can I pop the bonnet of the Hilux? Can I pop the bonnet of the Hilux? Yeah. Okay, so let's pop this bonnet. So under this bad boy is a uh, Wait, wait, wait for it guys, wait for it guys. It's coming, it's coming. Pew, pew. So guys, uh, this Hilux has a 1J, it's really cool. Look at that, um, it fits so snug in there. So these guys are fortunate enough to be able to work on one of these, uh, which is quite nice. And then uh, as we walk across as well, we've got, I'm not sure if you guys know, but 
the uh, E Fame, E Famous uh, S15 here. Everyone knows this S15. It's, uh, it's actually funny because it's one of my mates um, who owns this, uh, Jay Hang. So, uh, so Jay, Jay, pretty much, um, we we spoke about building the, our, our cars, and I told him where I was getting mine done. And he checked out this joint, and uh, Chan and Yem said they could do it, and so they did it for him. And that thing is so bomb. And then as we go further down, ooh, we have a 260Z. It's actually uh, one of my most favourite cars in, in the in the world. But not the four-seater, the two-seater. So uh, this looks really, really schmick, like really schmick. Um, and uh, this is in for a big Willwood brake upgrade. Like, look at that. That is huge. Absolutely huge, absolutely huge. And then uh, there's so much more in here as well and other customers' cars that aren't actually here at the moment. But uh, this place goes off, so yeah. Anyways, we're gonna go check out Chris's car now and he's gonna take me for a ride in his DC2, K20 DC2. So guys, uh, we were kind of distracting Derek a little bit um, and uh, Chan wasn't too impressed with us distracting him because uh, obviously he is paying his son to work and uh, we can't just provide distractions. So here we are, we're heading back now. We're in Chris's DC2. Uh, this is a K20 Monster, it looks Pretty average, I'll show you guys the outside shortly. But, you know, let's just focus on the good things of a car. And we're gonna focus today on his motor and his nice IC7 dash over here. Wow, wow. You can't see, it's got so many reflections. Man, that looks good. So this is my, uh, so this is my friend Chris. You might have seen him on a couple of previous videos. Uh, he runs a K20 Integro. You wanna tell us about it or not? No, he doesn't want to talk about it. So, uh, one one thing I really question about this car is um, he spent probably about 15 grand on the motor. 15 grand on the motor. And you're probably thinking, wow, well, that is a lot of money. And, and, and it is, it's a lot of money. And then when you come to the body, body work, you bought the car, the shell, for $500. And you look at it and you think, why did you put 15 grand into a $500 shell? Um, but I, I guess he wants it for the sleeper effect and it's very, very sleeper. <laughs> so uh, it runs E85, uh, he's road tuned it himself, he's done everything himself. Oh my goodness, look at that glare, it's really shiny. Um, Run of this leg, go, go, go. Obviously own a 500 kilowatt car, but you know being a passenger in an NA and how exhilarating it is Just because the torque gets up there so quickly and the races are so tight and, and it's also like a driver plays a big part in it too Which makes it so much fun How do you know <laughs> M3 though? Yeah, I know that was quick. That was so loud as well so good. My goodness You all anyway, see me 
always in this top huh? They're like, yeah, you never change this top. Yeah, it's because I always hang out with them after work. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my first drive of the Supra. I hope you also enjoyed this M3 race as well that happened. Um, unfortunately, we have the loser there and then the victor who has now driven away nice in his M3. Uh, but better luck next time, man. You can't get quicker. Just wait get that turbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right. Get, wait till you get turbo and then, you know. Hmm. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and catch out. Catch you later.